Hello and welcome to this brief Enra2 RTD Basics tutorial. My name is Chad Seeds, Field Application Engineering Manager. I would like to introduce you to Rohan Desai, Enra2 Field Application Engineer. In this tutorial, Rohan will be demonstrating how to configure and run an RTD 5G NSA basic sample test case scenario. We hope this tutorial is helpful to you in understanding RTD basics. Thank you again for choosing Enritsu Test Solutions. Hi, I'm Rohan. I am a wireless applications engineer with Enritsu. Today, through this presentation, I'm going to show you how we can use RTD protocol test design system from Enritsu to validate and configure one of the NSA uh, basic bring up scenarios. Uh, I have configured the RTD to do NSA bring up scenario. I have with me Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus device. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus device supports FTD and FTD NSA uh, test cases, which basically means that you have FTD configurations on LTE and we have FTD configuration on 5G as well. So let's get started with this scenario. Okay, so we have in front of us RTD GUI. Now, as I told you that we are running uh, FTD plus FTD scenario, I mean, how can we quickly validate that this is in fact FTD plus FTD scenario? I mean, you can do this by simply by double clicking on initialization parameters and you will see it will open up a bunch of configuration parameters that you can change. Um, first things we need to check is what is the ERFCN of LTE cell. As you can see, the ERFCN is 900. That means it is band 2 on LTE, which is FTD cell. At the same time, uh, you can check the K values, the parameters on the authentication side. You can, I mean, I have seen it multiple times that many of the scenarios fail at the authentication part. So this is the place where you can change the K values for uh, the authentication part. Okay, so we validated that LTE is on FTD configuration. Now we need to validate that NR is also on FTD. Uh, for that purpose, we can go to the assignment part and you can check that the NR parameters, the configurations for NR can be edited on this particular tab you will see that the band indicator for an R is band 71. That means it is FTD band. Uh, you also have the absolute frequency SSB and point A. At the same time, you also have the bandwidth configurations of an R. So we validated that this is the, in fact, on the configuration side, we have FTD plus FTD configuration. So next thing would be to quickly run this scenario and see what happens on uh, Samsung Galaxy S20. So I'll analyze this and execute the scenario. I'll make sure that the UE is in airplane mode. This is the uh, remote GUI tool that we use within Nanjitsu to uh, access the device remotely. So the test case has started. It is going through the initialization phase. All the licenses are acquired, and now it is waiting for user to click on turn on the UE and do the attach procedure on LTE. So let me just quickly turn off the uh, airplane mode and let's see. Okay, so the UE has attached onto LTE. It has passed the authentication and it has gone through the complete attach procedure. And now it is waiting for the user to add NR. This is where we configure and add NR cell onto the UE. We send the RRCD configuration with the NR configurations and wait for the UE to send the reconfiguration complete, which is the acknowledgement of it accepts the configuration and it will do the Ratch on 5G cells. So let me hit continue and see what happens. So the configuration went through uh, with an R configuration, and now 
We also got the reconfiguration complete. That means the UE has accepted the uh, 5G configuration. And this is where we can confirm that UE is in now NSA mode. Now I'm going to stop the test case. There is one last thing before we can conclude our experiment successful is to check the logs and to validate that the UE has in fact gone into the NSA mode. So let's quickly check the logs. First, we'll check the configuration part on the RTD tool. From the RTD side, we'll see that, okay, on the configure system, we did in fact have LTE cell at band 2, ERFC, and 900. And on NR, it was on band 71. Okay, so we have validated that it is band 2 and 71. Now, quickly look at the log to see that the UE has done some rats. So, I actually, in a sense of time, I actually filtered the log and found the rat traces on the log. Um, you can see there are some rat traces on the RTD MMT window on the NR side, and this basically indicates that there were RAT activities uh, on the from the UE side to the E node B on the NR cell, and this confirms that RAT was sent, RAT, RAT, RAT response was sent, and the UE in fact sent PUSCH transmission, one PUSCH transmission on the uplink side, which we can configure on this measure window on the NR side. So the UE has in fact completed the NR NSA attach and this concludes this particular experiment. Thank you. If you have any question with respect to this presentation or with respect to any of the Enritsu products, please feel free to reach out at Enritsu. You can contact your local support or go through Enritsu sales channel to do that. Thank you very much.